Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to blend uh, two shapes together that are they're not complicated but they're more complicated than just a circle. And a lot of times Design Spark mechanical has trouble with those and your blend will fail. So we're going to go ahead and do a tutorial on how to uh, go around that. So we'll go ahead and create um, an interesting shape here that has a lot of curve to it because uh, if your stuff is going to fail with design spark mechanical blending from one shape to another it's going to be with curves so we'll go ahead and uh, let's just set this up as a mirror line okay we already did that so let's go ahead and get the circle uh, we'll just draw an eight point circle there then we're going to right mouse click, turn off mirror. We're going to come over here to this tool, the tangent arc. We're going to go from there over to here. And then we're going to go from here over to here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and just pull that line up a little bit. Pull this one down. Shape kind of like this. Okay, so here we go. Uh, well, I can't really shape, say a shape kind of like that, a shape like this. Okay, we'll go ahead and get rid of that. So this is going to be our shape. Okay, get rid of those. We're going to go to 3D mode. We're going to select this. Get our select tool. We'll drag a marquee around that. We're going to do Control c on the keyboard, Control v We're going to come over here to move. We're going to go ahead and grab this. Move it up. Uh, 70 millimeters. Let's put it far this time. Well, actually, this is 60. Okay. Or well, actually, 50. 50 millimeters. Okay. Now we're going to go to the isometric view and we're going to rotate this. So we'll select, select that one, go to move. We're going to grab our red. We're going to rotate it forward 90 degrees. Okay. Then we're going to move it up. Move it up uh, 40. So shape like this. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select this one. We we'll just go to rotate that one. So we'll go to move. Grab our blue. Going to rotate it all the way around 190 degrees. Okay. And then we're going to go. We need to put a plane out here. So we'll go ahead and select plane. And we're going to put one from here here to here so we'll go ahead and click there click on the plane go to plan view now we're going to grab our line tool we're going to draw a line from here we'll come up straight to here come over and then we'll go ahead and select the click off we're going to grab our crate rounded corner we're going to put a generous rounded corner in there maybe like an 18 millimeter Okay, now we're going to go to 3D mode. We're going to go to the uh, isometric, and we got this shape. Let's get rid of our, our uh, plane. We don't need it. So normally what you would do is you would select these two. You'd say blend. Then you would use this one, and then you would multiple click to get that. And you would get a shape like this. So this one actually went through because I put more space in there I put a lot more space in between this but if you had an error message here let's undo this let's assume that you got an error message and this this didn't blend together now what you can do which fixes the problem which I found usually uh, fix, fixes the problem is you click this piece here over to here by holding down the control key and then you blend and then you blend just a piece at a time so you'll you'll do this and then you'll have the normal to center line on and you'll click OK and now you'll come around you'll spin this around and you'll do another blend you get select now you'll select this piece here over to this piece and then you'll blend Make sure that it's straight, and then you make sure your normals are on, and then you'll click the uh, select center line. Then you'll multiple click that, and you'll then you'll say okay. 
Okay, now you have these two pieces that are kind of, so you have to kind of manually do it. And sometimes you have to, sometimes it's okay, sometimes it blends stuff perfectly, uh, even if it's an odd shape. Sometimes you get an error message, but if you get an error message, go try this method. Um, and now you'll have to go here to here, and then select blend. Make sure that it's straight. Make sure your normal to center line is on. Click here. Then you're going to multiple click this, and you're going to blend that side. And now you're going to spin around to here. And now you're going to do the same thing there. You're going to select this line, and select that curve up there. Do the blend. Make sure that's straight. Make sure your normal to center line is on. Then you're going to grab your multiple click there, and then you're going to click the check mark. And once you do that, you have a you have a solid piece now. So um, since this worked the first time, you have to kind of assume that's going to fail. And if it does fail, this is how you would go about uh, creating that that solid. Because um, a lot of times, Design Spark, depending on how complicated the curve is, it doesn't have an easy time blending uh, from one curved shape, severely curved shape, to another. So uh, this is how you would go about doing that. And from here, you can you still have your same functions. You can go ahead and shell. We could shell this, and then we can go ahead and uh, spin, and then shell the bottom part. Now you have uh, this shape here. And then we could make adjustments if we wanted to. From here, we could go ahead and uh, shorten this. You know, if we didn't want to this big of a part, let's shorten it a, 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 pers a uh, exact amount. So let's just say 15. Oh, actually, let's go minus 15. All right, and then we'll go ahead and uh, spin this and do the bottom one here, minus 15. All right, this is going to be our part here. Uh, I was kind of hoping this part would have aired. Uh, I would have gotten a Design Spark mechanical error. That way, I would have been able to. Well, you get the you get the idea. You can um, blend that this line. You just do line at a time. You blend that line to the opposing line then this line to the other line. Then you do this middle part here to the middle part. Then you do this part here to this part here. And then eventually you work your shape out. Um, I found that this, this sometimes is a, the better method for blending, um, especially if you have a complex blend and you uh, design spark mechanical says, well, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna blend that for you. And the, you get an error message, then you could try this. And this just, now you have actual, uh, several different pieces. And then if you wanted to, uh, you break those apart, you could actually, I'm not gonna do it with this piece, but we'll go ahead and select all, we'll do a copy paste, we'll go move, and then we'll drag the blue over, we'll move this over. If you wanted to detach this stuff, you just right mouse click, detach, you go ahead and get rid of that piece. And then you would have you know, something like this here. You could detach all of this. Um, so you just have you could detach that, get rid of it, and then you could just keep this uh, this shape here. So you could just keep this. You keep these pieces here and then you can blend these and see if these will blend together for you. So you could go from here to here, then follow the guide and go ahead and 
See, this is one of those ones where it failed. So this would be the same, similar situation. Uh, this would be a lot more involved. Looks like it's gonna crash. Okay, well that's gonna end the tutorial for today. If you want to um, learn how to blend a, a, comp a complex shape from uh, one piece to another, uh, instead of, if, you ever, if your blend ever fails, just go ahead and uh, blend a piece, a line at a time from uh, line here to line over here uh, then you do the sides and then you do the bottom part and then eventually you've got a piece so it's a uh, it's an option uh, if you want to blend something and you keep getting a you keep getting error messages and uh, design spark go ahead and try that method oh look at it looked like it wanted to try to uh, to blend it but it was all uh, kind of funky so yeah, this is one of those situations where you just select the two opposing sides, you'd blend, and then you'd blend following the guide. You blend through these pieces here. And this one you'd actually have to do uh, two sides to it because Now you just spin it around to get your uh, your blend. Go from a uh, bottom there to the bottom there. Then go ahead and follow the path of the line. Click OK. Now you'd have to do the same here. Out, outer line to outer line. This one's a little bit more complicated because you're blending uh, the inside one as well. So. And then go ahead and hold down a control key, get all these. Um, then you go ahead and spin this around. Do your blend from this line here to this line here. And then just grab these, hold down control key. Go ahead and spin this. And then you basically have to do the same on the inside here. So you would go, you go blend, and then you would blend this, this piece here to that piece there, and then follow the line. Hold down control, click on cook the green. And then you do the same there, get that top piece to the top piece get your blend then follow the line do these and click OK and then you would have to do inside line there inside line hold down control key follow this path click the green then you would spin around to do this other side then you would do the blend on the ins actually you have to spin it even more because you got to go blend from the inside line there to the inside line over here and then follow this curved line and then click green okay so now we'll end the tutorial there so basically that's how you would do it um, if you ever do get or are trying to blend like this and you get a uh, design spark mechanical error that says it can't complete the blend uh, this is one way that you would be able to go ahead and do that it takes a little little bit more steps but uh, in the end you've got a, a blend that you wanted okay thank you for watching um, and uh, hopefully you got something useful out of the video go ahead and delete these little path don't need to keep those Okay, as always, thank you for watching.